Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Hope you're all well, hope you're all staying safe and welcome back to the channel and if you're new around here then welcome. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to install custom vehicles into your editor studio far. I'm not really a man of words so I'm just going to get straight into this. So you're going to open up your Google or whatever and just type in whatever car you want. Just anything that will give you a result. You can always have a look around just search up whatever car model you want i want this one because if you ask me it's looking pretty nice so what you're going to want to do is just click download if you're on lspdfr.com then that's the same all right and then open it up also open up your open iv so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your open iv go into edit mode and now this car is an ELS so you can see these are the ELS files and you can see they've included the templates in this one for people to make their own okay so what we want is the model files though so click on that whatever it's called and you can see these are all of the files that you need so so if you're following along as I upload these then I released a video yesterday on how to install custom pets and that includes the modern DLC pack V and that also shows you how to install that so we're continuing on from yesterday so remember you go into your mods folder if you don't know how to get to your mods folder or anything just check out that other video so mods update time 64 dlc packs modding dlc.rpf 64 levels gta5 vehicles vehicles.rpf and this is where you want to put all your custom vehicles and the reason why I've only got these um, vehicles is because I went the hard way and installed them in their specific locations. But once I discovered a modern DLC pack, it was just a whole lot easier. So you just literally grab your files and just drop them in there. And you can now see. There you go. That's the custom vehicle. Okay, so exit out your open IV and go into your files and go to your GEA directory. ELS, pack default. And this is um, assuming you've got ELS installed and you just drag and drop that in there. Don't want that because that would be the wrong file. You can open it up and you can see all of the configuration settings in here. Wouldn't recommend messing around with them, but I usually change these lights to blue, but this vehicle doesn't need me to. Alright, so that's how you install them. And if you want a specific, like... If you want Noose to turn up in your car that you just installed, for example, you're going to want to go into your GTA, Edge Video File, Data, and open up this agency file again. Right click on it, and you can open it with Notepad. So, as you can see here, you have all of your PED files that we installed yesterday. But now, like I said in the other video, this will be showing you how to change, like what, how to change noose or whatever turn up in your custom vehicle so you might not have to do this it's only if it's not included i think it's just police police two and police three by default but i've added police two but i've added sheriff sorry sheriff two sheriff and police four so basically how to add it is say if i wanted the an fbi police file for the los santos police department i just select all of this Control C and go to the end of the bottom one and enter. Got to the space right to there. So you don't put it a bit off center and you just copy and paste and you change it to whatever you want it to be called. So for this instance, I want it to be FBI 2 that I want them to turn up in. So that is how you add the vehicles for a certain agency to do. Right, so in case you want Noose to turn up in the um, car we just installed, which was the file name was Police, just scroll down until you see National Office of Enforcement, whatever it says. That's Noose. Right, so I'll just literally enter, copy and paste, and there you go. If you need to change it, just change it. So that is how you make a certain agency turn up in a certain vehicle. So you just file save exit out of that now i'm going to launch up my gta and test it you probably should too and i'll be back with you once i've 
started up my GA. Yep, there you go. Because I changed the file name, so you can now see, obviously, I have it, which is good. Make sure all the sirens work. Alright, so we know it works with me, but we want to check if the police will respond in it. Absolute chaos has just happened trying to get them, but as you can see, the police now turn up in them as well. Um, <laughs> I have no clue what is going on, not going to lie. Okay, I'm going to end the video there. If you did enjoy this video or it helped you out a lot, make sure you leave a like. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. That would help out a lot. Everyone stay safe. I'll be linking a playlist to all the other Edispedia file tutorials I've done in the description, as long as all the files used and OpenIV. But for now, that's me out. Bye, guys.